Hello, this is the derivative calculator demo. This is a school project. Um, uh, first, I want to give credit where credit is due. Um, when I was doing research, I found this website. It gave some great recommendations for where to look for information or like what topics to research. So um, I kind of looked into those and then looked into the branching topics from that and I did some extra research also and found some um, good direction in this assignment from however you pronounce that state <laughs> university um, so yeah with that being said um, here's the project. We can run it. And um, I have a few to demo. We can try out something like um, so what this will do will give me the derivative of the function I put in. And you see I've got to use um, operators in between the, the operands here to, um, to tell it sort of what to do when it's processing it because um, I only have it set up to format to take equations in this format. So um, anyway, we will enter that in and we can see it's going to put it in postfix notation first and print it out just so you can see that. Um, and it will print out the expression tree um, using parentheses to show sort of what what is parented to. Um, and it will put that back in a postfix. Um, by just doing the post order traversal. Uh, the derivative tree is going to be what is printed out after it does the derivative operations. Um, and I have it set up to do um, a lot of derivative operations, but not all of them. So um, I pretty much have in these demo ones all the sort of things it can do so um, if you don't see anything in, the, in these demos it probably can't um, but we will test a, a variety of things here um, also I put in here a functionality to test for um, for solving as well you can put in any value for x here and it will give you the value at the fu the original function at that value and the derivative value or the derivative function at that value so um, I've been testing that by using using that website also here um, you can put in I can put this in here And of course, I got to plug the values in myself, and I've done that with some of them just to make sure that this is accurate. But um, this, with doing a, a lot of tests, it's, this is a lot faster. Um, so, nope, one. So we got six and seventeen. Six and seventeen. You see, it works with the. Uh, negatives with fra with uh, not fractions but uh, decimals you see those are matching up there um, so yeah uh, let's test a few more here And um, we'll try another one here.
And you can see um, when things get a little more complicated, the second derivative can be a little messy. Um, it gets better with my my simplification function, but um, still, it's not perfect. Um, but here we could see that this matches up. We can test it against the, the other program here. And it's got this check answer function. You can check and see that this is equivalent to it. It actually simplified it before it even got to um, comparing them to each other. Um, so, yeah, it works with the uh, the chain rule here too. Um, so, yeah, we can solve for for values here. Check that that works too. Um, see that. One come out to zero on both of them. You can check it on here also. Two it says it's going to be point one 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 point one four eight. We can check on here. Two point one 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 point one four eight. Um, so that's working good. You can try something like that. See that it's it's working even if the it's a uh, handling constants. So that's good. Um, for these next ones, I'm actually going to turn off the second derivative because I do not have them working for. Um, exponential functions. So let me do that. So let's do a couple of exponential ones. Alright, so we will do um, See that it did the the power law there, and then that is the uh, base of the power times the natural log of the base. So that should be correct. Um, we can just to be 100%. We can check in here. Okay, so yeah, again we have the, uh, the natural log of the base times the um, base to the power plus the uh, the power log, 3x to the fourth here, which is now uh, 12x to the third. And we can see that it, um, in the postfix, I have it now also checking for the uh, ln character here, so it knows to do a, a natural natural log on the um, on the next character. So I only have it working with um, with that single 
number bases, no like big crazy bases to an exponential, which I'm not, well, anyway. Uh, so with with these with a single with a single term base we can we can check and as long as it's um, also not a independent variable like x or I guess only x. So we'll try like values. Um, one should be six and fifteen point c nine. See that they they're matching up there too. Um, also, negative values work. Or um, yeah. See that's matching up as well. Um, also, decimals. You can stack them together. Let's see. 117.25, 117.25, negative 187.43, negative 187.43. Um, so I'll say no to that, um, but we do have one more. Um, I should have a chain rule with respect to the, uh, the power though. The, the base can't have multiple terms, but the power can. Um, I do have the chain rule working with that, so we can do uh, 12 to the and um, this one's a little with all the parentheses a little difficult to parse by I right off the bat so I'm just going to check it see if it matches up to what's on here. Well, actually, no, it's pretty s simple to see is like the um, just the original base to the power times the the natural log of the power and then the chain rule is the, just the um, the derivative of this inside function here. So that's actually pretty easy to see. Um, I was just looking at the this original one and thinking it would be. Um, so that should be correct but we'll check it anyway. Here, um, that's not the one I wanted to copy though. I wanted to copy the derivative. If the, and yeah, so it it matches up. Um, so that is it for the demos. Um, if I've got the time and the energy tomorrow, I'm I may make a how it's made video. Um, that one will be likely a lot longer, but. Um, for now, I'm going to upload this, so look forward to that maybe, maybe tomorrow or sometime in the future.